Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're logging in for the first time, my name is now Corina Navarro. I am planning on changing all my social media, by the way. I need to get on that, but that's a different topic. First of all, I wanted to explain what an engagement ring meant to me. For me, it was a symbol of the love, commitment, and the loyalty that we had for one another. I had a few friends ask me, like, don't you want to save it for your kids? And the answer was, absolutely not. I want my children to hold on to the good memories that we had when we were together as a family and we will have many more good memories now as a reconstructed family or restructured family. I feel that uh, holding on to items sometimes can hold us back from leaving and enjoying this present moment and what's going to happen next. So before we started this vlog, I wanted to share that with you, but this is how it went down. Good morning you guys, another beautiful day. We are on my way to my mom's house. As you know, we bought this car for Casey and well, I had to put a down payment and I have to come out with a way to get the down payment. So, I decided to sell this baby. No more engagement ring. As you can see, it doesn't even fit anymore. So it's time to get rid of it. I don't have any attachments to it. It means nothing to me. And the money will be for the down payment. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Let's get going. We made it. Two hours later. We made it to Grandma's house, you guys. Let's go check out her new house. Just for the record, this is Oscar's favorite grandma. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Welcome home. <laughs> Wow! The house is beautiful. Show me, please. Show me the house. It's a kitchen. Fancy. Mm -hmm. Look at her. This was my bathroom, guys. You guys uh -huh. recognize it? It looks so much better here. All right, guys. Two things I wanted to say. First of all, I am so excited about my car. I know I keep talking about it, but... This is the first time I have a 4x4 and I love it. I don't know if you guys remember, but last year I got stuck in the snow and it took like three people to get me out. That's not happening this time. You think this is funny? Your mom is stuck here? It's Californians, <laughs> man. We're stuck there? I don't know. Keep going. Take it up the hill. This is why I need an all-wheel drive, huh? Oh. At least we can have fun with it, huh, Oscar? Yeah. At least it's not us. I know. Oh, it is you. <laughs> That's not happening this time. But anyhow, we're getting ready to go and take care of this baby. How weird is it that it won't go in? It's like, never again. Never again. It's not happening. It's like, nope. We're going to go get it appraised and bye-bye ring. I told my mom whatever is worth, 50% for her. Bye-bye. Okay guys, so I was just talking to my mom about this book. I think it's called The Eighteen. I, I don't know, okay? I've never done it. And a friend of mine suggested that I should read that book to help me decide whether or not I should move to Utah. So I was telling my mom like, oh, let's go buy the book. And she's like, I have one. So I am going to play for the first time with the book of fortune. Let's see what my fortune has to say. Oh my god, guys, like seriously, I've never done this, but this is crazy. So look, in marriage, nine, you will be disappointed in a marriage, or you have lost someone in your home through marriage, or you will be divorced, or a disappointment connected with marriage. Are you kidding me right now? I already got two things that I'm like, no way. All right, guys, well, playing the game was actually really interesting. A lot of things come that you're like, oh my gosh, like this totally relates to what I'm going through. So it was really interesting, especially with the marriage thing. <laughs> we came to get a drink from Starbucks, and then we're gonna walk to uh, get, hopefully, my ring of praise and get it over with, right? Right. No, you cannot get a shrimp. I think this is where Oscar bought Kira's engagement ring, but in Utah, obviously. How cute are these, you guys? You could get your own setting. I can help to remember how exciting it was when we were looking for rings. It is, it is kind of like a fun thing to do, like find out you like. I always wanted a princess card, just for the record. Oh my God, you guys, I found this beautiful ring and I feel like I should trade it. Look how pretty this is, I want it. 
Mom, I think I have to increase the price on yours so I can get it. <laughs> and it fits perfect and it's white and black diamonds. And the perfect piece. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Matching. You're welcome. Well, that was beautiful, you guys. And my mom, she's like, buy it, buy it. Put it on a credit card. <laughs> she's totally encouraging me. I'm trying to make some money, guys, not spend it. That's why you're gonna Help me buy out here, guys. Yes, the book told me to make good financial decisions. <laughs> All right, so it's time to go, guys. And my mom decided she's buying the ring. Thank you, mom. I hope that it brings you happiness. Mwah. Enjoy it. I know. I know. Okay, guys, so I'm, as I'm editing this video, I'm like, okay, what questions could they possibly have? Because I know that I don't explain it everything. Uh, my mom had lost her engagement ring uh, many years ago, and she had been wanting to get another one. And so I told her, hey, I'm gonna be selling my engagement ring. And, and I know there's a lot of myths behind that, like what it could represent, and some people think it could be by luck. Who cares? It's a diamond. <laughs> it's a ring. But um, that is the reason why my mom ended up buying, because she had lots of ring, and she wanted another one, and she got a great deal. And to me, it's like a win-win situation, because I get, obviously, financial uh, a financial benefit from it. And she gets the ring that she wanted at a good price and now she gets to love it and enjoy it and show it off and it's a win-win situation i am going through a period of like cleaning and i feel like i'm cleaning my body i'm cleaning my mind i'm cleaning my thoughts and i'm also getting rid of all the materialistic things that i no longer need in my life my mom had given me the bedroom set as a kind of like a wedding gift and she bought a new house and she had a bedroom where she could put it. So I'm like, take it, please take it. I haven't decided yet where I'm moving, if I'm moving. And so right now I'm actually sleeping on a uh, inflatable mattress and that's how I wanna stay until I decide what step is next. Um, that way, you know, the least possible things that I need to move, the better. And just start fresh. There's nothing like moving somewhere else and like having new items and that's what I'm going through right now. So yes, I got rid of the bedroom. I sold the ring. I turned in my lease. I changed my last name. So many things uh, keep changing for the better. I also wanted to take the opportunity to thank you guys one more time. I am over 60,000 subscribers and I'm so excited. My goal is to get to 100. Uh, and I haven't celebrated the 60,000 subscribers. I wanted to celebrate, but it goes to 60, and then it goes to 59, and then it goes up to 60. So once it's at 60 for sure, I would love to celebrate. I, I have so much things to celebrate. 40th birthday, 60,000 subscribers, and well, now I am back to Corina Navarro, and finally being divorced. Thank you for joining me on my journey. I can recognize a lot of uh, followers that have been with me from the beginning and you guys are always taking the time to comment and, and I've said it before that to me is so valuable that you guys are taking time to watch the blog and then to type and I got a few emails from you guys too sharing your story and how you guys can relate and you guys have gone through it or you're going through it and I don't know to me it is so valuable that again you guys take time out of your day to share that with me and I am very thankful for all your love and support and I mean it thank you thank you thank you Mwah! I know there's gonna be a lot of exciting things for me out there and I can't wait to share them with you I really can thank you see you next time <laughs>